welcome to our daily readings from the Bible, reading a chapter each day from the New Testament. In 1 Corinthians 3 verse 6, Paul wrote, I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God made it grow. Lord, plant your word deep in our hearts these days, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to the chapter for today on Monday the 21st of June. And I'm reading from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 2. You know, brothers and sisters, that our visit to you was not without results. We had previously suffered and been treated outrageously in Philippi, as you know. But with the help of our God, we dared to tell you his gospel in the face of strong opposition. For the appeal we make does not spring from error or impure motives, nor are we trying to trick you. On the contrary, we speak as those approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel. We are not trying to please people, but God who tests our hearts. You know we never used flattery, nor did we put on a mask to cover up greed. God is our witness. We were not looking for praise from people, nor from you or anyone else, even though, as apostles of Christ, we could have asserted our authority. Instead, we were like young children among you. Just as a nursing mother cares for her children, so we cared for you. Because we loved you so much, we were delighted to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our lives as well. Surely you remember, brothers and sisters, our toil and hardship. We worked night and day in order not to be a burden on anyone while we preached the gospel of God to you. You are witnesses, and so is God, of how holy, righteous and blameless we were among you who believed. For you know that we dealt with each of you as a father deals with his own children, encouraging, comforting and urging you to live lives worthy of God, who calls you into his kingdom and glory. And we also thank God continually because when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it not as a human word, but as it actually is, the word of God, which is indeed at work in you who believe. For you, brothers and sisters, became imitators of God's churches in Judea, which are in Christ Jesus. You suffered from your own people the same things those churches suffered from the Jews who killed the Lord Jesus and the prophets and also drove us out. They displease God and are hostile to everyone in their effort to keep us from speaking to the Gentiles so that they may be saved in this way. They always heap up their sins to the limit. The wrath of God has come upon them at last. But brothers and sisters, when we were orphaned by being separated from you for a short time, in person, not in thought, out of our intense longing, we made every effort to see you. For we wanted to come to you. Certainly I, Paul, did again and again. But Satan blocked our way. For what is our hope, our joy, or the crown in which we will glory in the presence of our Lord Jesus when he comes? Is it not you? Indeed, you are our glory and joy. And the thoughts and prayer for today. In this part of the letter, Paul uses many metaphors to do with family and caring family and nurturing to describe his relationship with the Thessalonians and their relationship with God. I like in verse 7, Paul says, just as a nursing mother cares for her children, so we cared for you because we loved you so much. We were delighted to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our lives as well. He then carries on to say, you know that we dealt with each of you as a father deals with his own children, encouraging, comforting and urging you to live lives worthy of God, who calls you into his kingdom and glory. And it seems to be that caring, nurturing relationship between Paul and his friends and the budding disciples in the church at Thessaloniki that is brought to the fore. Paul knows that this kind of relationship is necessary when we share the gospel with other people. We don't do it, as Paul says, with exerting authority. We don't do it from impure motives or out of greed or wanting to aggrandise ourselves. We do it as people who care and Paul 
describes the, pe the people who care the most, the nursing mother or the father, as those who give everything to make sure that their children get what they need and get care and comfort and, cons and encouragement. And so I'd encourage each of us as we go about our daily lives and as we care for others to remember that this is the kind of care that we can give to people. Give to people in our congregations and give to people outside our congregations in order to spread the gospel of the good news of God's love for each and every person. Love in a nurturing and caring and loving way. So let's pray. Lord our God, when we think of your care for us, we think of a parent's care, a mother or a father for their children. Help us to be also caring and nurturing towards all we meet this day, towards the people in our fellowship and towards our neighbours, so that your care for us can be modelled in our care for others and that through us people may grasp what is the height and depth and breadth of your love for them in Christ Jesus. Amen. <laughs>